honestly, where do you even begin to start digesting this performance? And you can digest this one performance in isolation and, and maybe look at, well, do you know what? We actually played off the back foot for a little bit. We were battered. It nearly worked. Maybe we had opportunities at the end where we could have done something. We did put the ball in the back of the night. It was offside. I mean, we were clinging on. I mean, if we'd have pulled a draw out of that, you'd have to say it was decent. But we didn't pull a draw out of it, did we? Like, we literally did not pull a draw out of it. We lost. So whether you lose 1-0 or 3-0, <clears throat> it's fucking irrelevant. We didn't win. And uh, that's happening more and more frequently. And... Not only are we not winning, they're just abject lack of anything. Playing with Scott McTominay is playing a man down. Playing with Marcus Rashford at the moment is playing a man down. Playing Anthony Martial is playing a man down. We had eight Kim players on the pitch at the start of the game. One of them's a child. It's his second Premier League start. And uh, as good as he looks, there will be inconsistencies with him. Uh, and we actually saw him run today. Turns out he's not that quick. Still looked great on the ball. Um, but his pace is an issue. Uh, and it'll be something that people try and exploit if he's not uh, able to work on that footwork to position himself in the right spot at the right time. <sighs> Harry Maguire, man of the match probably for me, from a United perspective. It was a great defensive performance from him. Not a lot to comment on on the ball because, well, we didn't fucking have the ball. But, you know, that that's the kind of game that he thrives in, man. On the back foot, defending a box, last-ditch shit. He thrives in that sort of situation. Um, he'll probably play a lot more just because we're going to be in that fucking situation a hell of a lot more, man. Um... No one else really worth talking about, to be honest. Aaron Wambasaka gets run off at the back post. It's a fucking, it's a song and all the words to. You know this that as good as he is one v one, for all the people who go, why can't he play as a six? Well, you know, distribution aside, why can't he play at centre half? Because that's how you defend those areas. And he's poor at that. He's excellent one v one. He's excellent when he's being run at. He's excellent being dribbled at. But there's 16 sides to how you defend. And he's missing a few of them. Uh, I don't want to fucking sit here moaning about United, man. I'd, <laughs> I've done this for... I've done this on my own channel for what? Since 2016, 17? I'd done it as part of full-time Devil's Trip for Paddock for, I think I was a contributor from 2014, 15 onwards. And I haven't seen the success I saw for the other fucking, what, 22, 3, 4, 5 years, 25 years of following Manchester United. Manchester United is a part of my life will always be a part of my life I was with my granddad this afternoon granddad's 81 it's part of his life it's always been a part of his life always will be a part of his life and it's in the bones but it ain't enjoyable watching a team of fucking cowards with shit attitudes now, United have never been in the second tier in my lifetime. And we've never had a relegation fight in my lifetime. And some clubs, they don't experience that. Arsenal's a club that doesn't really experience that. Liverpool's a club that doesn't experience that. But outside of those few clubs, pretty much every other club has experienced that. I'm not sure the last time Chelsea flirted with relegation or... Uh, we're actually in the second tier, but you know, there's there's a handful of clubs who don't generally experience that. Real Madrid fans are spitting your face before they they have a conversation with you about what that is. And there's an entitlement in our fan base for sure, and I'm probably entitled as fuck as a fan in this fan base. I know, I, I know, I am. I have an expectation that Manchester United should be doing better than we are. 
I don't understand the lack of patience, though. I don't know how many times people can say, it's not going to get better until the ownership structure changes. And i already seen people saying, oh, it was fucking Joel Glazer back post for the first goal. And it's relevant, man. It's, you know, it's, it's both relevant and irrelevant at the same fucking time. Fundamentally, you're not going to go in, in the right direction so you're all going in one direction. Because while you've got people and forces pulling in other directions, you can't stay on the right track. You get blown off course. And no, the Glazers weren't defending the back post today. Or the first man. And they weren't, you know, letting Newcastle have the ball and not pressing them. That's all on the players. And the players have to be better. Um, and I've seen a lot starting to turn on social media. I saw Eric Ten Hag come in for a lot of criticism following the final whistle today. So it took me a minute to upload because I think I'd like to think I don't add to the negativity. And some people will agree with me and some people won't and that's just the way that works. But I generally think that I like to just, I speak from the heart. I legitimately don't have, I'd never have a fucking agenda that I'm going to go into a video with anything. Whether that's recently with being pro Anana, who I thought was fantastic today. Whether that's, um, you know, being a little bit um, critical of Luke Shaw in the past or Harry Maguire in the past. Like, I have, in my opinion at least, I have no agendas going into anything. I just, I like to call it as I see it. People will often call it an agenda when they disagree with what's being said because they can't wrap their head around the fact that someone has a different opinion of them. Um, and I always see that people say, I always think I'm right. Well, yeah, of course I do. You, We all do. You do. Hence why you're commenting. Like, no one walks around saying things that they know to be fucking wrong. Of course you think you're right. What sort of mental fucking statement's that? And I, I I don't state my opinions as facts. I'll state facts as facts and say these are facts. You know, my, I have opinions. In my opinion, Harry Maguire is not a fucking good enough player to play for Manchester United. And that is on the basis of me giving him man of the match tonight. Those two things can both be accurate at the same time. I think at the moment, Marcus Rashford is looking for a way out of Manchester United. That's my opinion. That's not a fact. My opinion is he's playing like he doesn't want to fucking be here at the moment. That was a fucking zero out of ten performance from him tonight and I like Marcus you know I, I don't think Garnacho is good enough to be starting he scored two fucking wonder goals in, in two of his recent starts I don't think he's good enough to be starting I think he's an impact player that comes off the bench I don't think Anthony Martial offers a fucking thing in a United shirt anymore and the fact that we're carrying the passengers like him the way we are you're not going to enact the sort of change you need to. And I worry for the number of players that have tossed it off at the moment. And that's not just to the level of Sancho tossing it off. Marcus looks like he's tossed it off. Anthony Martial's not tossed it off. That's just Anthony Martial. That's on the tin. You knew you were getting that. But when you see people like Varane has tossed it off, Casemiro's not really fucking having it, what is going on? The attitude from these players stink and it was shown up today in a big way because on paper, that Newcastle team is not more talented than the Manchester United one. And there's a lot been made of their injuries. We've got just as fucking many, right? I would say going into that game, it was pretty equal. But they were more equal than us. They were better coached than us. They wanted it more than us. They worked harder per man than us. And that's unforgivable. So why are they working harder than us? They had a midweek game. We had a midweek game. We've had a tiny bit more trouble. Why are they working? And it's not like, oh, they got to the end of the game and they tired. I mean, I think you could probably argue that they did tire towards the end of the game. But why are they working harder than us from the first minute? You know, you should be like, look, if, if there's fatigue, onset fatigue within the squad then I expect it to appear around the 60th, 70th minute. Not the first. So the first is attitude, isn't it? 
The first the first 20 minutes of any game, the intensity is down to attitude alone. And our attitude is fucking wank. Anyway. Enjoy your fucking Saturday night in a bit.